Today we are shooting Beyond Fashion Magazine cover. We're doing an interview. Uh, we have to leave the house in 40 minutes. Valeria, work face on. Got it. You didn't sleep last night. Okay, no pity party for you. Get it. Okay, I'm wearing a hat. I decided I'm wearing a hat. Okay, let's go. How extra am I with this hat right now? I'm just trying to hide the fact that I haven't slept for longer than 45 minutes last night. Yay! Also, forgot to transfer this to a go to cup. Oh well. Okay, lost the hat. I'm over the hat. I don't need I don't need the hat power anymore. Oh. Wow. Okay. Oh my god. Everything hurts from my workout yesterday. These stairs were not kind to me. Oh. I believe you were getting up to go to the gym at like god awful hours of the morning this week. Do you want to hear my new project? Okay, let's hear. So, I was at the at the gym and there was this one woman. I think she was in like maybe her 40s. Such a hottie, like such a babe. Her body is a masterpiece. So I I asked my trainer, I was like, who is this woman? And he's like, oh, she competes in bikini competitions. Oh no. I was like, tell me more. <laughs> Uh-oh. So apparently, I mean, I've heard it before, like the bodybuilding and stuff, but there's like a bikini competition where it's not like about like muscle mass, it's more about the like, creating lines and stuff. So he said, there are trainers that will take you on and it's like a three to four month thing where you go like hardcore, you work out every day for one hour and then the most, like basically the difficult part is the diet, right? Because it has to be like super clean. So... I'm like literally considering doing this. Stop it. So I'm thinking to do it and like to document the whole process. That would be so much fun. Go to all these like competitions around Can the Can you air. imagine? <laughs> <laughs> like next one let's prepare like skin, just okay. that's a little bit like something for eyes but nothing else. Okay. Hello. Hi guys. This is Bianca. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing glam today, I feel. Yeah. Because they brought jewelry. Yeah. My hair is high society. So. Do you know anything that you're wearing? Or no? No? This is very scary for me. Because I feel like we do all our content. So I'm in charge of like hair and makeup. I know exactly what we're doing all yeah. the time. And here it's like, it like throws me back to my not comfort zone. So like good. When in my modeling days where I would come to a shoot, I'd be like, oh my god, I hope I'll look pretty today. You guys gonna bleach your eyebrows today? Just wondering. I was literally just thinking that. Were you? I mean, that's her favorite it'd be a nice, look. Yeah, it'd be a nice throwback. <laughs> ten year challenge. Someone asked me when I did the ten year challenge, someone was like, your nose looks different. Did you have two nose jobs? I was like, <laughs> yes, I had five actually. Every month I do one.
music really? <laughs> yes, Emma. It's your music. This is my music? <laughs> From your Valeria Inc. playlist. <laughs> It's a good one, trust me. Okay. I saved it too. I thought it was like, okay. Trying to sabotage you. <laughs> without you. I know. Thanks. You're welcome. Have you seen my, my phone? No. There's a phone there. A phone? I don't know if that means a purse. Where's her phone? What the F is her phone? How does this girl always lose her phone? Waiting for my whole life. <laughs> Careful. What? I'm just being graceful. Let me shine. Don't get too into it. Let me shine. Like 
one like that on the side yeah. and one like that. And she's done. Before we change, can we do a few like you know those four that we mm -hmm. Do you have something lacy? Uh, no. Yeah. Well, okay. I just think that this and this for close-up will be like... Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. What does Peggy Bundy say? I don't know who that is. Love and marriage, love and marriage. <laughs> okay, Come I, I together with the horse and carriage was a thousand my friend. <laughs> I have heard, I just wanted to keep hearing you sing. <laughs> oh. Nice work. <laughs> now time for a little interview. Drink that water. How's your day going? Pretty busy? Yeah, so far so good. No, 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 whatever you're in. Everyone's going to get started. I started on YouTube and Instagram. Well, first was YouTube, I would say. I mean, I was already on Instagram, but like everyone else, I was just kind of sharing family photos things like that. When I graduated my certification for holistic nutrition, I started seeing clients and I understood that it's really not, it's not going to get me to spread the information to a wider audience. So um, I got a little frustrated. So I decided what can, you know, what can I do really to bring all that information to as many people as possible and help them. That's when I started a blog, which was kind of late for blogging. So a blog in 2016 was already kind of a yesterday's news. Yes. So when I started the blog, I figured that, it, you know, it's very hard to connect to people with writing things. Like they can't really understand, you know, where I'm going and what message I'm trying to bring across. So then I figured, okay, I'm gonna do something really scary, something I have no idea about, and that's gonna be YouTube. So that was my first introduction to YouTube. How did you get that started? Like, did you buy a camera? No, I started with my phone. I still shoot some videos on my phone, to be honest. And that's, I think, the big misperception that a lot of people... Is it misperception? Misconception. <laughs> misconception that a lot of people have today. They think that you need all this fancy equipment and the right house and the right background. And honestly, I still like use tables and books as my stands and I shoot in my house most of the time. I YouTubed how to edit videos. Okay. And that's how I learned how to edit videos. I basically learned everything from the internet. Since then, you've become a pretty prominent influencer. Mm -hmm. What do you like best about being an influencer? What I like best about being an influencer is sharing my life and, you know, the ups and downs and just like kind of real life tips with people. I love that today people can connect to something real. I remember when I was a teenager, the only people I could like try to look up to are like either models in the magazines or someone that is very untouchable. So I really like that little, I mean, not so little anymore, but um, the community that we right. built where I feel that I really have a personal strong connection with my audience. And I'm not so much as like an expert. I, I don't want to be an expert. I just want to be like, you know, like their friend or their biggest sister or someone that they can kind of go to to, you know, get some help. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So could you kind of tell me like how you Yeah, so initially I wanted to get a job in McDonald's and my mother was against it. When I had um, a birthday party, for Jewish people it's like a bat mitzvah. So yes. at 12 years old I had this big party and we got a photographer to come and take photos of me. My mom saw something that I never even thought about. I was a very 
shy, very kind of, people didn't even know I was going to school with them. Like I was very invisible as a kid. And she saw something, she's like, you really, you're, you're a little different on camera. You look more confident, you, you know, you're very different than in real life. So 12 years old, it was very young, uh, but the photographers told her, you need to look into getting her into modeling industry. Yeah. So when I was 15, and I was pursuing a career at McDonald's, my mother said, okay, all your friends are working there, that's great. Let's try modeling, and if it's not gonna work, if no one accepts you, then I can, you can go work at McDonald's. So I was like, so happening for me, I'm so getting that job at McDonald's. What happened is that the, she submitted photos of me to this online competition. It was actually for the Russian-speaking like, people in, uh, in Israel, and I won. We went to get the prize, and it was a horrific night for me. But Elite Model Agency was in there, and the guy saw me, and um, he contacted us after, and that's kind of how it started. Okay. So from something very terrible, that <laughs> night was very terrible, turned to be something, I mean, a full-on career. So yeah. you kind of credit it back to your mom then, I guess. hundred percent, it was yeah. my mom. I did not want to do it. That was not something that came naturally to me. I think that... As teenage girls, just being at schools or like out there in the world, we always compare ourselves to like regular oh, yeah. people. So for someone that was so insecure and so shy to get into the modeling industry and start going to castings and compete against all these gorgeous girls, it was it was a very it was like you know when you throw someone in the water yeah. to like <laughs> you sink or swim. That was that. So you, you're pretty busy, obviously, because you're yeah. basically working for yourself. Right? Yeah. How do you balance that with your home life and being a mom to three children? I hate the word balance because it's a very tricky word. It doesn't really exist. And I think that a lot of people think that, you know, it's something that we need to aspire to. I think that for me, balance changes every day. Some days, you know, it tips more towards work right. and I'm more into that, that kind of area. Or the other days when I feel like, okay, I'm way too much there, I'm gonna start tipping it towards my kids or myself or... So I think that just being in tune with myself and being aware of what's going on in my home and with me when I need a break, when my kids need me. Um, so I think it's just kind of self-awareness and being in tune with what's going on in my life. Yeah. That's how I find that balance. What are five things you would always have on you for everyone? Lip balm, rose water mist, um, my wallet obviously, <laughs> AirPods because I listen to a lot of podcasts, and a charger. Okay. <laughs> I like the rose water. Yeah. <laughs> what podcast do you listen to? Um, currently, I love Goop. I love uh, Soul. What is it? Soul Conversation with Oprah, Oprah's podcast. Yeah. I love how I built this. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, it's really good. Um, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. And yeah, that's some of the ones I'm kind of listening to now. Cool. Um, what's your favorite fashion trend? What's my favorite fashion trend? Like, you know, there's like the neon. No, oh my God, I hate that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's happening still, but it will always happen for me. Yeah, yeah definitely sneakers. I think that in general, the fact that kind of the more laid back, chilled, you know, like pants that are um, sweatpants, things like that. I love that it came back into style yeah. and people can wear it to different places. Comfort is everything. So that's definitely oh, something okay. that I, yeah, I'm into. Yeah. So what advice would you have to someone who is trying to become an influencer? I mean, I think that this industry is still at the beginning of it because it's going to get bigger and bigger um, because this is the new media. I think that what a lot of people do wrong that I see is that they're trying to imitate someone else. They look at other people that are either fashion, fashion bloggers or beauty bloggers and they're doing the same thing. And the whole concept of influencers is to bring your own personal stamp to the world, to bring your own authentic self. And that's how people connect to you. And at the end of the day, the way to build an audience is to tell your story and you'll find your tribe. Just to be authentic and real and not trying to be someone that you're not is very important. What's your favorite kind of YouTube video to make? My favorite kind of YouTube videos to make are probably the motivational self-love okay. ones. Um, although I love fashion and beauty and things like that. Yeah. But um, for me, I really get excited and passionate knowing and even receiving feedback about the videos. You know, small, small little things that remind people 
maybe to stop once in a while or breathe a little or not to be so hard on themselves. I think we all need, you know, that little cheerleader to be like, you can do it. So I love making those. Oh, nice. Mentioning your husband, how different do you think your life would be if I met him? I would probably be somewhere in Europe, wandering the streets, trying to understand the purpose for my life. <laughs> I was very, very, very lucky to meet my husband at that point that I met him because he really not only made me believe in myself but also showed me the size of myself that I never thought I had or possessed. Oh my god, I don't want to think where I would be without him. It's very sad. <laughs> okay, well that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, we're good? Thank you so much. It's so nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you. I'm excited to see you. And the, I want to say, what you should Oh. You're so inspirable. You make me laugh, and you make me laugh myself. Can you see? This is why I do what I do. Thank you. Okay, let's go for it. Yes. Yes. Thank you. 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 Stop it. This is so cute. this vlog in the car but I fell asleep on the way so today was super fun it definitely took me out of my comfort zone and I feel like we had a the pleasure to work with some really talented and awesome people and I'm super grateful for the opportunity and for beyond fashion magazine that are featuring me and making me their cover girl, cover girl. it's super exciting and super awesome and that's my first cover is like a social media of Valeria Lipovetsky. That's so awesome. Yay. I'll be sharing the outcome, the magazine cover and the interview and everything, everything on Instagram. So stay tuned and follow me on Instagram if you don't. Plugging myself in. Mm -hmm.